kind of just going to do our do our thing. Go live, see what happens, have a good time. It's a party. What can I say here? A big big old wedding film review party. Hello Let's everybody. Yes. Hey, I'm Matt Johnson Love and I'm joined by my lovely, beautiful, beardless, yet mustached friend, David Reynosa of Forestry Film. Say hi, David. Wow. Way to remind me of my lack of beard. And geez, you just had to throw that in. What's up, guys? Uh, David over at Forestry, excited to review you guys' films and uh, help you guys become better filmmakers. The I'm best pumped. wedding filmmakers. Hey, boost your audio just a little bit too, if you can. Just a little, just boost a smidge. It. Boost. We're boost. tuning things. Steam. We're tuning things, guys. This is all. I just realized I had like the audio down a little bit, and I'm like, I want to make sure people can. Is this hear better? You. Is this too loud? Better? No, that's great. That's fine. Cool. Hey, what's up, guys? We'll run Sultry with that. David here. We'll see what happens. Sultry, sultry. Yes. Mm, it's like chocolate on a cold here. winter night. Mm, delicious, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. This mic though, it's it's just like it's it's pretty nice. It's so bassy. Uh, you, you you can hide behind it too. Nobody has to see your face. They just see a microphone. It's pretty great. What's oh up? man. Um, okay, so uh, what do y'all need to know? You need to know this live stream is sponsored by my friends at Music Bad, and you can use the coupon code Matt Johnson Live for one month free. It's linked down in the description. Also linked down in the description is a link to the second sponsor for this live stream, my friends at Love Stories TV. Do you want to get more views and more bookings? Yes, you do. You need to use Love Stories TV then. They're also linked down below. Use the referral link. They've asked me to please use the referral link whenever you sign up so they know that I sent you. Um, and lastly, David's here. And David's got a little little something hey. happening. Don't you? What's happening, David? I do. What are you doing with so... your life? <laughs> Let's see. There's a lot going on with my life. But the thing I'm most excited about right now for this week is... Uh, my profitable filmmaker course, which is out just for like three or four more days. Bam, there it is. There it so is. So it's a proven system to build a 100K a year wedding business in any location, market, or economy. And I'm not going to bore you with all the crazy technical details. You can go to this page and see all the information. But what I will tell you is some of the success stories from our students. So just had a student email me and they were like, I just hit 100K like a couple weeks ago because of this course. Another student was like, I just had a $36,000 month because of this course. And essentially, this is the course I wish I had starting out, would help me avoid so many mistakes as a wedding filmmaker. I take you through everything, sales, mindset, SEO, Facebook ads, profitability, workflow, and it's essentially all the action steps that you need to grow your business to $100,000 a year. And it's not just like, what kind of annoys me a lot with education, whether it be you know, wedding education or business education or whatever education, is you kind of get this course and then you're left just high and dry to figure it all out by yourself. But what I wanted to do was to make it as close of a one-on-one -on -one mentorship as physically possible. So not only is the course included, but I do a six-month mentorship program where everyone who just joined the course is with me and every month I'm there doing group calls, we do screen sharings, we do uh, website reviews, film reviews, we do branding reviews, we do if you hit any struggles with your Facebook ads or like, man, my bookings aren't there, I like dive in deep with you and I help you. Like my goal is to get you to that 100K. And to kind of cap it all off is like, 100K is great. You can make $100,000, that's awesome. But what I really want you to do is to do it in a sustainable way where you actually enjoy your life. You're getting clients that you love and you're rested and you're able to spend time with your family and you're not doing 80 hours a week. Cause that, like who cares if you make $100,000 if you hate your life. And so really the core kind of the seedbed underneath this whole course is to get you to that number that you want to reach, but do it in a way that brings you joy, rest, and ultimate like fulfillment and happiness doing what you love to do. So that's my little spiel of the course. Again, there's four days left. And if you use the code, I believe it's Matt J, M-A-T-T-J, yes. you get 10% off till Wednesday, the 30th. So like uh, 10 a couple days, a couple yes. days, couple and it's linked days. down below. So if you want to check it out, it's right down there. Like David really cares about you guys. He really wants you to succeed. He, he will do everything short of coming to your house 
And, and I might even do that, you know, just book the flight, we'll, I'll be there. Maybe we'll just be like, hello, <laughs> I'm here to help you. What do you need help with? And you're like, ah, David, what are you doing here? How do you know where I live? And do you know knows. how to cook macaroni? Of course. He knows. He knows. I, I do. Yeah. He'll do it. He'll do it for you. He'll yeah. cook that macaroni. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so great. So great. So, uh, yeah, check that out. That's linked down below as well. So David's going to be critiquing and tearing you guys a new one here, which is what he'd be doing in this course too. So it's very exciting. Tearing you, you are gonna tear, be, wait, what did you just say? Tearing just, you guys a new one? What does yeah, that even mean? That's, I mean, I, I think it's another butthole. I'm not positive though. That's I, my understanding. Another one. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. Anyways, yeah. on that right. note, we should probably actually review some wedding Let's films. I need to close this door because air is confused. Yeah, fix that. Fix your, fix your audio situation there. My goodness. Look at that. Look at that beautiful minimalist background of David's, by the way. What is that, like little sound panels there, a little tree? Mmm, mmm. Well, it was way deeper <laughs> than I thought it was. It was further back. <laughs> I was like, it's, any it's, second now. It's any, back here. Any, so, any, 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 any second. Okay. Who do we got? We got Jarls. Rachel has chosen Jarls. It's like Charles, but with a Y instead of a C. Okay, cool. Mmm, gangster mm, Charles. Mm, mm, mm. So let's load this up here, and hopefully this is going to... Be the right sizing here. Don't you play yet, YouTube. You wait. You wait until I tell you. This is Lauren plus Ted. I love the name Team Ted. Swirl. Not enough Ted's anymore. So, uh, says this was filmed with the A7S 3 Ooh, and colored with Adagio by White and Reverie. We get to see some of Kalen's buttery colors. So exciting. I'm half curious if I should play, also play the film on my end so I could see or at least like pull it up. Um, I, can, I can see it on your end, but uh, if you want to see it better, I can start. Sorry, guys. Yeah, just, As you can tell, we're very pros at this here. Let me tell you. I'm gonna just start like I can just paste. Yeah, the, just uh, j just so that I can see the colors and comment yeah. on them. Cool. Okay, so Dave is gonna like watch this live, but he's also going. We're doing a very convoluted thing, guys. I haven't been like a video call, but I'm sharing my screen with him. But I'm also sharing the screen with you. And I have like two mics, two cameras, everything going so you can see it too. It's a lot. Okay, we've been working on this right. for like an hour. Okay, let's, let's, uh, let's do Let's it. check out Lauren plus Ted. Let's see what we got here. Dreams in the sand. Ooh, okay. Okay, little, little city. You know, the, the most remarkable moment in life is when you meet a person who makes you feel complete. The person who makes the world a beautiful and magical place. The person with whom you share a bond so special Dude, this, this that it transcends beard? normal relationships Whoa. and becomes something so pure and so wonderful that you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. For Ted, he met Lauren, and she's pretty amazing and wonderful. I like that distance shot there. Business, we know how deeply these two love one another, and we're privileged to be here today to witness their love for one another. At moments like these, we're reminded that God is active and at work in our lives. We're all living proof of God's grace and love, which is expansive, inclusive, and ridiculously good. And obviously, it's bigger and more powerful than we can imagine. And we're all here to celebrate the bounty with both of you. As third-party spectators to their developing love, it was extremely clear that these two represent a perfect pairing because each of them complements the other. Many of you may not know this, but Ted and Lauren wrote letters to each other describing what they love about the other. Lauren, you called Ted spontaneous when you are structured. There it is, there it is, Call here he goes. Second shooter or main shooter. Look at this in the background, creeping in, gimbal in hand. He's, no, he's he's a guest, man. It's just a guest with a gimbal, <laughs> yeah. just attending. I brought yeah. this along. Just just thought yeah. I'd get a few shots. It doesn't, in the it doesn't work. It's just kind of like a safety net thing. <laughs> Calm when you are stressed, and fun when you want to be responsible. Main shooter, Charles says. Okay, or Yarl says. Okay. You've told oh. me Lauren is the like organization Aquaman, to your chaos. <laughs> and how you love her confidence, intelligence, and love of family. You balance one another. And while each of you are tremendous individuals on your own, together you're even better. 
and being better together as a team is what ultimately leads us to being here today. Witnessing your commitment to one another in front of those that you love most. A new Odyssey says they once had a guest show up with their own drone to the wedding. That's <laughs> Oh, I've had that too. I've had that. I was like, bro, you want to race? What's going on? Come on, man. You got to land that thing. <laughs> this is way too loud. I got to film this thing. I need audio. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Actually, I could see a drone flying in this venue too. You got this big wide open space here. This is very droneable. I got to say. I, I, I can't be a risk. <laughs> selection of sodas there in the background looks like a sprite maybe pepsi mm, full bar open bar mm. i love that tile Hi, Lauren. Take slow you to, to be my husband. The slow motion uh, uh, of the photographer away. and the videographer. Like, oh, shoot, they're coming. We're, we're in the way. We're too close. <laughs> we back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Hi, Lauren. Take you to, to be my husband. With you as my husband, I promise before God and these witnesses. Yeah, I'm sorry. This efficient is just stealing this, This like, like look at this here. He's got yeah, that he's Dos Equis man. Like, like the, can the I salt have and him pepper? just as a friend? Can you just come to my it's house and just photograph? hang out? Just, just stand there. Let me look at that beard. Wow. <laughs> just just be a wax sculpture. And in plenty yeah. and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live. With you as my wife, I promise before God and these witnesses to be your loving, faithful husband. In plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live. By the power vested in me by the state of North Carolina, it is my honor and delight to declare you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. I am very pleased to announce Mr. and Mrs. Ted Nesbitt. Nesbitt? Slow, go in, push in, get the gimbal shot. There oh, we go. Okay. Yeah, hit us with that fade. We're going into their minds. This is what they're thinking. Mm. Whispering sweet nothings into her ear there. <laughs> oh, that, that high look. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What? He's like, yeah, you know. <laughs> little little venue flip there. Oh, oh, there's like shops above us. It's like a mall space thing. Is this the food court? Do they just yeah, that's what I'm kind of trying to figure out. I would love that out. if they just got married to a food court, dude. Like, can you imagine just getting Sabaro pizza? There's like Chick-fil-A just behind. Oh, you man, just selectively crop it out. Little Asian restaurant that they always have. I like the lighting here, though. This chicken. is impressive. Yeah, you know, nice. like... A little sunlight coming in. Where's that light? even coming from? Is that is that a 60X just, <laughs> just in scaffolding? Down. Just glowing down yeah. here? I don't know. This is mother. I do love venues where they just pipe and drape everything. They're like, don't look at anything back here. Just just drape it all. We can make it's, it work. It's, it's nice. It's better than not. This is more than It's an exciting moment, but the song's very quiet and very slow. There it is. 
Oh, well, that high five, there everything is. changed. There it is. That was an intense high five. Oh, there it is. That was it. Three Pepsis in, I'm telling you guys. It's crazy. That Mountain Dew is crazy. That is your brain. Actually had three different tuxedos on as well. They were just the same, same exact <laughs> style and look for all three of them. All different manufacturers. The scooter guys. Oh, they got the scooter guys cruising off. Yes. Mm. That's what does it for me. Scooters. All right. Man, <clears throat> uh, thank you, Jarls. That was fun to watch. Beautiful, like, downtown wedding. Nice vibes, all that. David, what do you think? Tell <laughs> oh, he us. Just hit, he, he just hit me right away. Okay. <laughs> Um, Jarls, thank you so much for sending that in. That was, yeah, I loved your shots. Like the coloring was fantastic. I'm kind of a sucker for more natural color and I loved, like nothing looked too overdone, which I really, really loved. Skin tones look great. And all these like close-up portrait shots killed it. They look super natural, like they're, they're really, really good and cinematic. And then as far as what I think could make this film better, so I'm sure Matt can kind of echo some of these things. One is there is way too much slow motion at, you know, a couple shots here or there, but as you kind of go slow motion, after, I think every shot was slow motion. So uh, slow motion really works when you put it in after a couple normal speed shots and it kind of is used to accentuate a certain moment. But when every shot is slow motion and also the songs are really slow, it tends to give the viewer fatigue of it's no longer exciting anymore. And then you kind of just like, oh, okay, is it another slow motion shot? So that's what I would do is use less slow motion. And I think it would be more captivating. And then probably the biggest thing is the music stayed kind of even toned from start to finish. And we kind of started slow. And then the next song came in and it was also slow. And then the third song came in and it was also slow. And then we kind of got faster towards the end, but it was also like a slow, faster song, whereas I think we should have only had one slow song and maybe even edited, it was around seven minutes. I think it could have been four minutes and cut off you know, three minutes from that there and then use less songs, use one slower song and one kind of like, let's change up the pacing around one minute in to make it more engaging. So those are a couple of my quick thoughts that I think could just really take this film to that next level but all the meat is there like i just your shooting is fantastic i think it's more just a storytelling and editing and pacing thing as as you kind of finesse those i mean those are little changes that'll just make your future films so much better what david said the meat is there i think we want some potatoes too and like <laughs> it was good meat but like i need that side also just to kind of round it out nice starchy Maybe mashed, could be baked, baked potato as well. That could work as well. Um, yes, I agree with him. Like lots of slow mo. Let's cut out the slow mo. And then, other thing for me, I'm 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 not a big fan of the light leaks we got going on here. Like it's mm. just kind of distracting. And you kept doing it in the same like way. And I was like, these are good shots. Like I don't need I don't need light leaks to be messing up things here and like dirtying the image whenever it already like looks really good. It just felt a little unnecessary. And so anytime I put light leaks in or anything like that, I'm like, does this add to the video or is it just distracting from it? It felt, it felt more of a distraction than something that added to it. Mm. Um, and then, and then off yeah. of that too, I would say, if you're thinking, okay, David, you said just cut it shorter, three minutes shorter, but what do I cut out? Because obviously 
I can sit here and know what I would cut out, but I'd say the biggest things is oftentimes as filmmakers, we don't give the audience enough credit. We think, oh, if I'm going to show the reception setup to the couple or to the audience, I need to like really show it because they can't really take it in with one shot. So that was one thing that really stood out to me is that whole reception sequence way too long. Like I just need one or two shots and I could take it all in. Um, and the shots I would cut out were kind of the unnecessary shots of the person putting in the flowers into the vase, even that wider shot, that one right there, even that wider shot where you see the attendant walking away, you could have just started it a little bit later to where we don't see the attendant. Like I noticed a lot of shots where we're seeing filmmakers in the background or an attendant or, you know, a stop sign or kind of just distracting things in the frame where when I edit my films, if there's any shots like that, I just take them out because I want every shot to be just jaw dropping. And if that makes the film shorter, it's actually better yeah. to have a shorter film with just banger shots, every single one, than a longer film where you're kind of like, ah, that shot's okay, but I kind of had to put it in to make it longer. I would have taken those out. Yes. All right. I know this answer, but David does not actually. So what do you guys think Jarl's charged for this here? David, we'll, we'll actually quiz you here. What do you, what do you, what, what do you think Jarl's charged for, for this down to, like, city wedding? You know, usually city wedding's more expensive, you know? You got, like, the city, you got people who have more money in the city that got, you know, like, look at this. Like, this is a nice venue. Um, 1200 sc Scooters in the back. Ooh, look at you going in. You're you're pretty close actually. There you go. Little little low. I'll tell you. Look at this here. Look at all these guys. See, I've been training people here. This is good. They're guys at 2500, 3000, 4000. Bravo VFX $10,000. <laughs> 10000. <laughs> okay. Uh X7 Albert with the 1500. You win. Congratulations. You win. It was ah. it was 1500. And like that feels I I would say like like David was saying if you if you shorten this a little bit Let's add a bit more ambient audio in. Let's not use quite so much slow-mo. Like, the, the meat's there. Like, let's just edit it a little differently. And then <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this wedding. I'm like, this is an expensive-looking wedding. Like, th this isn't a $1,500, you know, wedding to me personally. I'm like, man, charge three grand plus, four grand plus for something like this. I, I will say, though, that yes. the film, the reason I said $1,200 so fast, like, it feels like a $1,200 film. And I, I don't want to say that to be mean, but it feels that way because there's very little story. Mm. Um, there's it's, it's very long, it's very drawn out. And what I'm noticing is with people like Matt, with people like How to Film Weddings and myself and White and Reverend, everyone doing education, it's becoming so much more tangible and easy to produce good looking films. And so the minute something becomes easier, more people start to do it and it's harder to distinguish yourself just by films that look good. What's become really difficult, and the reason only a certain amount of people can have films that are like, whoa, is the storytelling aspect. And so if you can just hone that in of really shortening it up, and even that first like 30 seconds to a minute, instead of, because you kind of just started the film and then it didn't stop till the end, which seems like a logical thing to do. But what I would like you to see, if you were to re-edit this, I want you to condense the best parts of the day into the first 30 seconds with its own standalone song. Kind of kind of it being like a trailer. Like if you were to post a 30 second Instagram trailer of this or reel, what would that be? Put it at the beginning of the film so I'm engaged right away. That would really set this apart and then also shorten, shortening the film and that would make it feel like yep. a $2,000, $3,500, $4,000 film. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the editing and the pacing. Yes. Very good. All right, Rachel's gonna be like, Matt, you did not get through many wedding film reviews today. That's fine, me and David are having fun critiquing a wedding <laughs> Sorry, here. sorry, I'll, I'll keep my critique. No, it's okay, short. we're gonna get through like four reviews this this whole time. Like, Is that it? One, per, one We're gonna have for four hours straight, but we only reviewed four films, one per hour, and it worked out really, really well, and that was it. No. I'll just kidding. blow a point, I'll blow a point. I'll be like. <laughs> We've good. got a, uh, who do we have here? We have uh, Michael Dumel. Or Duhamel, Dumel. I think it's like Josh <clears throat> Dumel, like the actor guy. D D U H A M E L. Duhamel, Dumel. Dumel. I gotta resize this uh, window here too. So, 
entertain them for a moment while I do that, David. Normally I have to entertain them awkwardly. While oh, doing okay. Things. Let's see. Um, Good luck. We You'll got we got this film. Let's let's critique this frame. I love I love the grass in the foreground. It's kind of giving me like. Uh, what's what's that film by M. Night Shyamalan? Signs? Kind of like signs <laughs> vibes? Like maybe a la- aliens are going to come a- abduct these two humans. I can't tell if they're like green screen there or they're actually there. I actually love the color though. I like the shot a lot. It's exciting me. And then I'm going to send what David gonna next? the link to this also here. So many things I have to do, guys. I'm running this. Run, we're running this stream. We're making it work. I'm having like PTSD because Matt is... I think on Internet Explorer. This is this is all Chrome. It's all it's, Google Chrome. It's Thank Chrome. You. Okay. It is. It is. Don't okay. Worry. His bookmark bar. I don't know what it is. Hey man, the bookmark. I, bar I just bash him it. for having Windows, and that's just my thing. Okay. <laughs> um. Let's see. So let's grab that. Uh, oh no! Wait, no! No! We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. The this is looking one. better. Not quite where it needs to be, but it's looking better, which is all you can really hope for when you're setting up a live stream. The problem is that Vimeo resizes things depending on how it's uploaded. Like YouTube gives you one size for everything. Vimeo's like, hey, guess what? I've got ultra wide, regular. Hey, guess what? Cinematic. I'm more expensive. I have options. <laughs> Make it's a choice. very true. Very true. Okay, I have it pulled up on my end. Nice. And I've got it now organized here. And it looks watchable, which is all that really matters, right guys? <laughs> This Watch one looks right. like it's going to be a good one. We got a field. We got some grass and some gladiator vibes here. Mm, 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 mm. This is Lauren plus Brandon. She might just be my everything <laughs> and beyond. Wow. Beyond what? Beyond the beyond. That's love. So uh, Michael says the couple <laughs> really wanted a fun film and not overly emotional. I'm a single shooter that sets up a second camera on ceremony slash speeches. Filming on the Sony a7 III with three prime lenses, all handheld. Ooh. David likes handheld. David's going to like this. He's yeah, it's my love handheld. language. David David doesn't even own a tripod. He threw it all away, crushed him up. He's like, I don't need that. I, I film the whole thing with my VR headset now. Yes. It's VR. handheld now. It's all in the metaverse, y'all. I have, I, I'm waiting to review a metaverse wedding. It hasn't happened yet, but I'm hoping. Oh, it's going to. Like, it's going to be it. We're in love. Let's, let's go. Okay, here, here we go. The wind noise? Oh. The most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete. The person who makes the world a beautiful mm. and magical place. The person with whom you share a bond so special that it transcends normal relationships and becomes something so pure and so wonderful that you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. More light lakes. Again. For Brandon and Lauren, this Maybe happened four and a half years Michael ago. Michael J. Dumel film. Lauren, being your husband will be the greatest honor that I've ever gotten to experience in my life. I'm so proud to call, get to call you my wife. Our love fills me with satisfaction every day, and I can't wait until I get to see your beautiful face today. Just picturing your smile brings me happiness. I love you so much, and I can't wait to start a family with you, travel with you, and be your best friend for life. Now let's go say I do and make you a noble. Love you, babe. <laughs> I gotta say, this, this groom's beard here, just... This is the only reason I pause these films for a bit. He's got a really nice line going on there. Very straight, very well groomed. Very mm-hmm. impressive. Very well groomed. Groom, groom. selling like sound effect packs of bridesmaids like reacting to dresses because it's always the same like, ah, it's all, ah, it's like, so pretty. 
I'm like, I could, I, you don't have to, they're like, I don't have that audio. I'm like, don't worry, I've got you covered. Actually, me and you should go into a studio. <laughs> it's just us. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> ah! That's so funny. <laughs> Nothing you can say. It's just very common. This is how it always sounds. So and and we, could do, we could do like the crowd during cocktail. Like, yeah, yeah, did you see that dress? Yeah, yeah it's well, crazy. Oh, you see his reaction? Blah, blah, blah. Watermelon, uh, watermelon. <laughs> Lauren, I still remember our first day like it was yesterday. Standing here today, you were even more beautiful. I'm the luckiest guy on the earth. It's unbelievable that I have the chance to promise <laughs> to promise myself to the person I consider my best friend. Good emotion. I want to see the group. Lauren, though, I like, promise to love and cherish you forever. Your imperfections, if I can ever find any, will only serve to make me love you more. You mean the world to me, and I couldn't imagine spending the rest of my life without you. first met, walking into the room not knowing what to expect, on our first date, I saw you and instantly felt at ease. You made me laugh and feel so comfortable that it just like, it felt like I've known you forever. Seeing you with your family and how much you care about them only made me look into the future and had me hoping and dreaming that you would be the one that I would have a family with and grow old with. You have filled my life with so much joy and laughter. You're my best friend, my biggest supporter, and I can't imagine living this life without you. Brand, I love you, and I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. By the power of your love and commitment, I now pronounce you husband and wife. us prouder as sisters and as a family than to introduce Lauren and Brandon as husband and wife. stupid together. Don't marry the person you think you can live with, marry the individual you cannot live without. Love does not make the world go round, love is what makes the ride worthwhile. I'm so glad you guys found love. the colors like really enjoyable like love the handheld look really <coughs> like love the energy love the music um biggest thing for me i would say to work on would be the the sound mixing overall like the wind noise at the start was really loud which kind of make it hard to hear the efficient who i really wanted to hear and then later on it was just like the bride you could tell it was like an on-camera mic and you were saying that the photographer was doing some uh some uh not shooting silent so that's rough but yeah it's just I would maybe then have her record, like say, the, like read the letter again after you know the photographer has taken some photos. Then just do what you have to do to get the good audio. I would say because otherwise, like I really enjoy it. it's just like the music, especially toward the beginning. I was like, man, like it's just hard to keep up with it. 
because the audio wasn't quite as good. Mm. David? Yeah, I, I agree with Matt. I would... It's weird. Like, at the beginning, obviously, Matt said it at the start, I love me some good handheld. So I was like, oh, yes! And I personally didn't care for the efficient. I just felt like what she was saying wasn't anything all that interesting. <laughs> <laughs> like um, it would be to the couple, but I would have liked to just hear the sound effects and maybe shorten the sequence. And because you said at the beginning that the couple wanted something a little untraditional, they wanted something a little more fast-paced, energetic. And what would have been cool here is to see the natural movements of them at the beginning, but maybe not in slow motion as much, like to hear them laughing, to hear, you know, them maybe like talking to each other to really make you feel like you're there in the moment because it is regular speed. And then even to cut in some audio moments from their cake cutting because it looked like it was super exciting and you had the cake cutting and people cheering and they're dancing. So you really get, it's like all sound effects and all audio and it really sucks you into the day and doesn't feel like a typical start of a wedding film i think that would have been a really strong start and just made it feel even that much more next level and then i uh i think the same thing that matt said the thing that really threw me off midway was where the groom's getting super emotional but then you cut to a ceremony guest laughing and my brain's like whoa what's going on so i would have wanted to see his face for sure. And those are like the things that stood out the most to me. And I think the other thing, which I don't really know, I'd have to think about it more, is most of the film was pretty romantic and slow paced. And so my brain was kind of like, oh, wait, but I thought the couple didn't want that. And so, and I think it was like the music. So I don't really know how I would change that because they had romantic vows. But I'd probably have chosen more of an upbeat song if that's more what they wanted. I don't know. I'd have to process that a little bit more. No, I, I agree with you there. It, the, the intro definitely had – it went more romantic at the start. But I feel like it within like two minutes and all, once it, the second half went really well. Like got way more – Yeah, the second half was fun. a lot stronger. Yeah, the yeah. second half was really good. It's almost like I would be like, can we short? Can we just shorten this down? Just cut out somewhere at the, <laughs> the beginning a little yeah. bit. And then like, Give me to the fun. Okay, cool. Like – and then maybe like, yeah, like tease the fun a little bit to where it's not just, oh, we have to wait all the way to the end to yeah. know that it's a fun wedding. Yeah, I think that's good. Uh, likewise, you got you got the light leaks again. I don't know if the light leaks are adding to it. I'm just saying I'm not a huge fan. Thankfully, they weren't there for very long. It was just like, oh, man, light leaks again? Okay. So, oh, well. And, I mean, the couple doesn't care. This is more like yeah. a filmmaker thing, but... Okay, guessing like pricing that. here. And this is in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I don't know what accent I'm doing there for that, but uh mm, that was that was not that was <laughs> not no known accent. Canadian, that was like an A. It's um, like an Avatar accent. <laughs> <laughs> Avatar accent. <laughs> so uh this is in you gotta get you guys can guess the pricing. You have to guess in Canadian uh rupees because it's not in, uh, Canadian rupees. It's not in, not in uh, India. <laughs> it's not in... Not, You're not in, Slumdog uh, Millionaire. Right? Oh, man, dude. The Slumdog Millionaire wedding with all the dancing. Oh, my God. Oh, so God. Be nuts. Okay. Uh, nobody's got it yet. I will tell you that Delaney S. has been the closest so far. Tennis and Stanley's also really close. Restless is too high. Oh, my goodness. You guys are dancing around the pricing here. We're so close yet so far. Okay. Uh, two thousand six hundred dollars which i'm assuming that's also in canadian so somebody like can do the math in the chat for what that is in american dollars and i will tell you that michael has also added this disclaimer here my pricing is low as i'm trying to make a name for myself and this was only my fifth wedding which dude honestly fifth wedding like dude i wish my fifth wedding looked this good holy crap every, like every time and all, like you're already like building that style nice work yeah, seriously. Fifth wedding. Good pricing for your fifth wedding. I think my fifth wedding was like $700. So that really, really strong. I mean, you have, I, I, I could just tell the intuition of a really, really great filmmaker. And it's just kind of honing in, getting more confident and cutting stuff out and kind of making things shorter. And yeah, I mean, 
what, 2,600 you said? 2,600 Canadian, so whatever that is. Yeah, America. that's a fantastic. What I would suggest is keep making films like this and really just kind of ask yourself, how can I continue to make every film better than the last? Because I think, I'm just kind of going out on a limb here, I think your intuition is there that a lot of the things we mentioned, you probably already know. So I would just lean into what your gut says and every film that you do, challenge yourself to raise your pricing between 300 to $500 because your work is good enough to do yes. that. And I, I would just do that and before you know it, you're gonna be first year in and charging four grand. Love Easy. it, love it. Do it, and then you just take David's profitable filmmaker course, and you're just making just so much yeah. money. It's absurd. You're doing like 10k weddings in uh, six months. So. Absurd, absurd. Yeah. The amount of money. Okay, cool. Uh, thank you very much, Michael. That was really enjoyable. Michael says thank you so much. Solid feedback. Oh, one thing I would mention before we move on, real quick. Now he's gonna trash talk you. Sorry about that. He's he said the nice <laughs> things. Now that the now you said it was good feedback. It's just it's, got it's more personal preference thing. I don't I don't like uh, like lo like the how your name came in at the start of the film and how their names came in at the end. I think it makes the film look a little cheaper. So my personal preference is I would take that out and it would just make the film uh, appear more high quality, in my opinion. Mm. David take doesn't it, like it as, seeing, seeing names. Take it as, as, as you want to take it. That's good. That's good. Okay, who do we got next? We're going back to YouTube. Oh, thank God, we're going back to YouTube. Okay. <laughs> the land of the free. The land of waffles. Tacos. Oh. Maybe not. Uh, let's see, we got a little <laughs> here. Uh, I got to find it. Hold on. Here we go. There we go. Look at that. Properly sized. Love it. Okay. So, uh, this is a new Odyssey. You. Um, this is the wedding of Sarah and Caden, and it's clearly at a golf course. David, I will send you a link to this as well. We're, I'm remembering vaguely. Okay, so they say, A New Odyssey says, be brutally honest, I can take it. <laughs> oh, this is good. It says, I feel like I've almost as if stalled in my work, and this is the same level I've stayed at, and I'm looking for ways to improve. For some reason, I was really obsessed with split screens at this moment. <laughs> okay. Shot on the Panasonic S1H, S1, and S5. Graded with the white and reverie Adagio. Let's Adagio. Adagio. Oh. I, I remember the first time I talked to Kaylin, I was like, uh, hey, I like that. Uh, I like your timber, Lutz. He's like, you mean timbre? I was like, excuse <laughs> me. Yes, uh, timbre. Okay. You mean, uh, you mean uh, I think they're coming out with a new LUT pack called S Cargo. S not, escargo. Not. Es escargue. Escargue? Is that it? I don't know. Okay. So we have to be brutally honest and they can take it. Okay. 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 Whatever right. that means. I don't know. I don't know if you want it. Uh, Strap in David's here, so you never know how mean it's gonna be. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, here we go. Golf course. Nice pool. As I grew up here in America. I had a tough time with the different cultures, and Caden's always been there for me, so I'll always be grateful for that. <laughs> the dreads, yes. <laughs> Through tailgates and bonfires and all the moments in between, I've seen how well Caden takes care of Sarah. For that reason, <laughs> and so many more. I'm so happy to welcome Kate to Tokyo. Sarah, we have no doubt that you'll be a wonderful wife to Kate. You've been a lot of fun for us and a delight your whole life. Right from the start, you were a happy, beautiful baby. You've always been a hard worker, a supportive daughter, sister, and friend. Welcome to the event of the season. Sarah and Caden, this day is all about you. This is the moment. Take it in. I 
I'd like to start out with a quote from my favorite movie, The Waterboy. Thank you so much for being my friend. For me, our love story started with strong friendship. You are the true love of my life. <laughs> Getting to marry you and spend our lives together far exceeds anything I could have imagined for this life. Our love story has God's fingerprints all over it. For the past two years have flown by with so many exciting memories and celebrations. We have gone, grown stronger through every experience and I will never forget our hot air balloon engagement. I thank God every day for bringing us together and today I feel like the luckiest guy in the world to be marrying my best friend. Sorry fellas. We promise to always put our team first. Fight for our team in good times and challenging times. Make decisions, big and small, as a team. And above all else, show up every single day for our team. In the presence of this good team, it is my pleasure to now pronounce them husband and wife, Caden and Transition, what is happening? I don't know what that was. We have to watch it again. I'm sorry. It's just, oh, wow. it's wow. so unexpected. Just kidding. You thought it was the same shot. We got more grass. It's like a curtain. It wasn't quite a star wipe, but it was, it was close. It was the closest I've seen to a star wipe in a while. It reminded me of Star Wars. And now they do My mind got wiped. Like, as it was happening, I forgot who I was. <laughs> I blanked out. I'm like, what is happening? Is this still a wedding? <laughs> Where <What's> am I? <laughs> There's a split screen. There it is. Oh, so much. In high school, he persuaded me to join the track and field team. And it was there I got to witness his best event, which was the hurdles. He would hop over each hurdle. He abandoned, you don't need any form, that's what he said. He would hop over each hurdle and sprint in between each one. And he still managed to win the city championship. We're both such special people. We are so happy Dominic brought you together. But it's your love and commitment to each other that will keep you together. Always remember, work together because you are on the same team. We wish you a lifetime of love and happiness. May God be with you and bless you. May you see your children's children. May love and laughter light your days and warm your heart in your home. May you feel no rain, for each of you will be the shelter to the other. May the meaning of this hour on this day be fulfilled throughout the days and years to come. Cheers to you, thus. Sarah, I love you so much, and I'm so happy you found someone who sees just how amazing and special you are and brings a little yin to your yang in the best way. So cheers to all the adventures and love to come. We're so happy to witness this journey, and what a beautiful start to a lifelong love letter. Rapid ending there. Wow. Rapid. Up we on are you. done. It's like okay. a Mr. Beast ending. <laughs> and we're over. Here you go. And we're over. That's it. Oh, man. Um, okay. Like, shooting. Fantastic shooting. Fantastic shots. Stable. In focus. Good colors. Good contrast. Like, you're nailing all, like, the basic technical stuff. Uh, my biggest issues are the... Because you want me to be brutal. We're going to be brutal here. Brutal. Brutal. We're going to um, make you bleed. You're going to cry. You're going <laughs> to cry about this wedding. No. Um, <laughs> biggest things I would say for me uh, is music, sound mixing. Like, you got to bring down that music level. Like, people are talking, but it's just that piano's bang, 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 bang. And I'm like, I, 
I'm having very difficult time here understanding what people are saying because the music is so loud. Um, combo that with, I gotta be honest, the music sound, the music feels like really generic. Like I realize that it's like you're licensing songs here and all, but like the way you're using it feels a little uninspired. And it was just kind of like instrumental in the background the whole time. Just kind of, we got this little do. And then at the end we're like, which was the hurdles. He would. So we have to Next level. And I was like, give me something with lyrics for a part of it. I think that could help. Give me some, like it, it was kind of like, Slower energy than higher energy at the end, but it was just kind of, I didn't love it. Can you help yeah, me articulate that, David? My biggest thing was like, I feel like if you were to look up wedding film in the dictionary, like this is what would show up. And that's not a good thing because essentially what you've done is created a vanilla wedding film where everything is good, like Matt said. I mean, yeah, the audio mixing, I, I would echo what he said, it was too loud. But, you know, it's, it's you got their vows, they're in focus, the shots are good. And I think we can kind of like run around in circles and tell you how to fix this film in particular. But I don't think that's actually going to help you. What I think you need, because you said you've hit a kind of stopping point. It's not a filmmaking problem that you have. It's a branding and why problem that you have. Mm. Um, you're... Like you could clean up the audio, you could you know do a separate sequence at the beginning, but you're still gonna have that ceiling. You need to take a step back away from the editing chair and ask yourself, why am I doing wedding films? Because this is un like Matt said, it's not it doesn't have heart in it. There's nothing unique or specific or different about it, and that's what's wrong with it, really. Um, so one of the suggestions I would do or I would say is. You, you need to take way more risks. Like if you really wanna hit past that ceiling, what I would suggest is doing a wedding for free, doing a giveaway or something, and literally doing the complete opposite of whatever you think your style is. And just full on leaning and do it for free so there's no repercussions of the couple not like, whatever it is. And what I would even say if you feel like, I don't even know what the opposite of my style would be, that seems pretty vague. What I've done when I've hit roadblocks like this, where I don't really know, I know I need to do something different, but I'm not sure what, I try to go online and look at filmmakers that I, their work really, really inspires me. I'm just like, man, that person's work, when I watch their films, it's just something so different. I want you to copy, like literally copy their style for one of your films and try to get it as close to that filmmakers, how they start their films, how they do their vows, how they do their portraits, and just completely take yourself out of that comfort zone. And the training wheels is having this other filmmakers, you know, style as a template. And that's gonna stretch you and allow you to think differently about, okay, wow, this is how I could potentially go with my wedding films. Cause yeah, you just need to be way more specific. I talk about that so much in the branding section of the course, Matt talks about it a lot is essentially this is a video version of an about page on a website where it's like, oh, I like to drink coffee and I like happiness and I like love, but there's nothing specific about who you are on that about page. Like, do you like, you know, remodeling old retro cars? Like that's specific. So in terms of how it would translate into a film is, man, uh, what would be specific is I really love outdoors. I really love nature. I really love natural things. I'm going to specifically showcase that by doing handheld at the start. I'm going to specifically show that by using more indie tracks that are very out there and weird, kind of like the music I like. And it would kind of lift this film out of that basic category. Those are just some things to grab onto and to figure out, okay, how can I break out of this kind of basic mold? Agreed. Agreed, agreed, agreed. It's just... We got to do new stuff. We got to do new stuff. And I think David gave you some really good advice for how to do that. So that's awesome. Thank you, David. Yes. Um, let's see. A new Odyssey says, this is really good advice. Love it. Okay, good. Because we were brutal and mean. <laughs> so mean. Wow. No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> tears, all right. So if we're talking vanilla here, David, and you guys can guess too, what do you think, uh, what do you think a new Odyssey charged for this? Mm. 35. Oh, little high, little high. 
twenty-seven fifty. Okay. So close, but a little little above there and all. But um, yeah, I think I think for this level of film, you you should at least be at thirty-five. It's well, technically good. They say it. This package is now four thousand dollars for next year. So that's good. And Delaney says my audio is not very loud. Am I not that loud? I'm sorry. I'll probably be sitting back a little bit. I can move the mic a little bit closer too whenever I'm talking. Um, yeah. So I think the uh, I think twenty. I think four thousand is closer. Hey, let's say like thirty five hundred, like David was saying. Let's let's get up higher for sure. And then I think that as you're experimenting, as you're growing, as you're trying new things, I think that's really going to help things grow even more, and it's really going to boost things for you. Um, yeah. Thank you very much. A new Odyssey. Very enjoyable. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay, we have to take a brief moment here now, and I have to tell you about this live stream sponsors. Do, 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 do. If there was like a horn section, and like, like if David had a soundboard, he could be like, but yeah. we, don't, we don't have that. We don't have that. But um, I need to tell you about the first sponsor for this live stream, and that is my friends at Music Bed. Oh my music goodness. Bed. If you don't know about music bed, it's not beds. It's music. Okay? That's the first thing you need to know. They, they haven't gotten into beds yet, but they will eventually, I'm sure. It's going to be an expansion. It's going to be a mattress company. Just give it some time. Just mattresses. It's like mattress firm, but music. Music firm. <laughs> nope, doesn't work. Anyways, um, music bed's fantastic. Absolutely love them. Use them all the time. So many of the wedding films that we've already watched here, I'm looking through and it's like, yeah, that was music bed. Yep, that was music bed. It's yeah, I only music. use the music bed. Rachel like, says I love them. Yeah. They're amazing. Rachel says it's all been music bed so far. There hasn't, been a, there hasn't been a submission that did not have music bed in it. So there you go. If you liked the music that you've been hearing, uh, yeah, sign up for music bed and you could have that in your wedding films too, which is pretty <laughs> darn awesome. So they got a crap ton of really amazing artists and everything like that. I'm literally just like on the homepage and I'm like. Victoria Bigelow, what you got for me? And you go to Victoria it, it's like, Bigelow. oh my goodness. Where am I? I can't see my sound waves. Like the guitar. Then the world taught me to believe that is just A couple getting married on Big Sur, next to the ocean, slow mo, there's waves, there's. Little seagulls flying overhead. What is it? David's there and he's staring off into the sunset mm -hmm. just because it's cinematic. I'm always there. Mm. Mm. I'm actually That's there it. right now. He's live streaming. This is all just a green screen. He's actually yeah. on at Big Sur right now. In that's yeah, you the see, background. You, you, you see this? This is actually a redwood. This <laughs> is just the, the leaf of the redwood tree. He's doing very heavy sound reduction so you don't hear the waves and the seagulls. Well, but he's on. there. He's there. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's just like so many good artists here. It's absurd. Well, hold on. Where's, where's Drew? Drew's like one of my favorites. I always use Drew, but Drew is just like so fantastic. So it's easy to use Drew. But just like. Up from the mountains, all of the mountains, so all the beauties. Uh. Okay, so. Yeah. Fantastic options, fantastic music, fantastic <clears throat> choices. Highly recommend using Musicbed. They have hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of artists to choose from. If you need help finding music, you can literally chat with them and they will help recommend music to you if you get stuck. Nobody knows about that. But I tell people about that all the time and they're like, what? And you can be like, yeah, I need a sound that sounds like this or I have a couple that wants like a rock music vibe. And they're like, sure, yeah, we'll send you a playlist in an hour. And then they send you a playlist of all these great songs. It's amazing. Um, there are also other playlists here, just just so you know, from other people, including me. Are you on here, David? Do you have a? Uh, <laughs> I'm supposed to, and they're like, "Hey, can you send me your playlist?" And that was like two years ago, and I haven't gotten around to it. So David I'm so... <laughs> will have a playlist eventually if you harass. Maybe me. in like 2025, if I ever get around if to it. I think I need to hire someone to make my playlist so, so I can submit it. What I'm saying here is sign up now, and eventually you would have access to a David Reynosa Forestry Films playlist. Eventually. Not right now, but eventually, okay? But I got a playlist. If you want that, I mean, hey, we got some songs on here. All right, check it out, okay? If you want to do some licensing, my goodness, mm. Music Bed is fantastic. And they have a thing called Sync ID, which is going to remove any of your copyright claims you get on your music. So 
great to use for YouTube. That's actually pretty freaking magical. I don't even know how they did that. Because essentially, when you post a YouTube video with a song before, YouTube would flag it and you would get no ad revenue for that film. And then sometimes YouTube would take your film down. It was a nightmare. And Musicbed did some crazy witchcraft software engineering. And now when you use one of their songs, YouTube doesn't flag it. And you get ad, re ad revenue. So if your film gets a million views on YouTube, <laughs> You get like a couple thousand dollars for it, which is crazy. It's you so go cool. viral, this is it, okay? Use music bed. Absolutely love them. They're fantastic. Now the other oh wait, okay, what is Ilias Bilal says, can we use these songs on a film festival? Um yes, so you like can. they have David says yes. Yep. Yes, you can. It's a different license, uh, yes. I think. So they have but you can use your song the songs on TV, on broadcast, film festivals, and anything. They have you got to sign up for different licenses. For they have a wedding film license. They have a personal license for YouTube stuff. They have, um, I'm sure one of them covers a film festival too. Just, <coughs> are many people submitting wedding films to film festivals? I don't know. Um, but what we do need to talk about, even though, yes, uh, Lumilux says su Sync ID is super helpful. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. We need to talk about the second sponsor for this live stream, my good old friends at... Love Stories TV. Okay, uh, imagine do you ever you use YouTube, right? Because you're on YouTube. You're watching YouTube right now. That's where you're watching us. It's amazing. <clears throat> um, imagine a YouTube, but it was for wedding filmmakers. Imagine that you could go there and people could watch like a ton of your wedding films and other people's wedding films. Is that intriguing to you? What if I told you that you didn't have to pay for it and you could just sign up and start uploading your wedding films there? That's also intriguing. And what if I told you they would then promote your wedding films and they have things like wedding film awards where you can submit your wedding films and then win cash prizes. It's pretty great. Okay. And literally like the only thing they asked me to do, they're like, Hey, can you, can we be a sponsor? Can we talk through love stories TV? And I'm like, yes, just tell people this exists. Like it's amazing. And I love it. And you should all sign up. And there's a link down in the description to sign up for love stories TV. That reminds me, I didn't talk about the music bed coupon code either. Oh, crap. Okay, rewind oh, no. here. Rewind They're going to pull you as a sponsor. Very sorry happen. here. If you sign up for music bed, there's a coupon code right over here. Okay? So you use Matt Johnson Live, you get one month free whenever you sign up. Okay? So it's 12 months for the price of 11. It's really great. Fast forward here. There's also, you can see... Love Stories TV, but there's not a coupon code because you don't need one because you don't have to pay to use it. It's just sign up for free. But there is a sign up link down in the description that I'll ask you to use so they can track if you sign up because I didn't tell people to do that last time. And they're like, we had a lot of people sign up, but we don't know if you actually sent them to us or not. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I did. And they're like, we're pretty sure you did too, but you know. So look at this here. They got like editor's picks of wedding films. They got recommended videographers. Yeah, wedding Quirky video centric wedding this films. is. Because Love Stories TV realized, oh my gosh, there are so many people out there that just want to watch wedding videos. And they're like, okay, cool. This is great. I love the quirky wedding videos section, by the way. This is like my home base of amazing wedding films that I enjoy watching. I will tell you, this Harry and Ash one from Bottle Brush is one of the best wedding films I've ever seen. Just, mm. It's that uh, the alien um, cartoon guy. It's themed after that. Do you know who I'm talking about? Can you tell him that screenshot, David? Am I crazy? I have no idea. David doesn't use I, the internet, aside from I, occasionally. What? I haven't watched TV in like 10 years. <laughs> David doesn't What is know. a cartoon? They got wedding dresses, they got all this sort of stuff. But like, if you want to upload, it's really not that hard to do. It's pretty great. You go over here to the dashboard. You go over here, like, I want to upload a new video. And they're like, okay, cool. Where do you want to upload it from? And I'm like, oh, yeah, let me... Let me find it, actually. Crap, there's a zillion things here. Uh, da, 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 da. This is Matt clicking through his computer to find the wedding video to upload. Do, 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 do. There we go. And so, literally, it's really, really simple. You literally just put, like, the couple's names, and you're like, hey, this was Paul and Monica. They got married, and they were married in Amarillo. And it pulls up from Google, so it's really easy. And they were married, like, what was it, October October 15th. See, David, you could use Musicbed, too. 
Or not music bed. You could use Love Stories TV too. You do use music I bed. I already use music bed now. Yeah, clearly Matt's an expert. I'm trying to type things while I'm talking. It's very difficult. But you could use Love Stories TV too, and you see how easy it is. Say, wow, David, this is so easy. Wow, it's so easy. And you now, could do it in five minutes. And okay, so like now you can enter in like the other vendors that you worked with and all. And usually you have like that in like an email somewhere, you know, from the planner, and you can just pull the vendors. You don't even have to go super fancy and like enter everything here. You can literally just copy and paste the vendor list. Be like, hey, these are who was here. And then Love Stories TV will take it, they'll look at it, and then they'll organize everything and make it look pretty. So they're trying to make this really easy for you because they want this information because it's good information to have for a wedding film, but like they don't want you to have to like stress through it all, which is nice. But if you want to, you can literally just like add a venue and be like, yeah, um, this was at, uh, let's see here, Big Sur, because everything's a Big Sur, right? Done. Look Everything at that. Cool, that big sir. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Every wedding's a big sir. This one wasn't, but it's okay. I'm lying in this upload. But you can do like wedding styles because the wedding Don't styles like can it. really help. So for David, his weddings would all be like elopement. Uh, what else? What other? How else would you describe your films? Awesome. awesome? <laughs> Is awesome an option? <laughs> you can create uh, the awesome <laughs> tag. That's doable. Elopement okay. awesome. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, you guys can't see, I'm sorry, because the way that the screen is sized here, you can't see me typing these things. Um, but yeah, you can do other stuff, and there's a description. And then you hit next, and you're just like, yeah, great. Uh, you can put up a thumbnail. It's like, it's like YouTube, it's great. So they do have this thing uh, where you can have social promotion and paid partnerships. Let me do this here, and then we're gonna do that there. So they have this thing, social promotion, paid partnerships. Basically, if you want this to be featured, considered for features, they will feature it, which is fantastic. And then if they want something specific, they're like, hey, can you make an edit for us that has like just the bride's dress in it, for example, or something like that? They will pay you to make an edit. So it's just like free extra money that you're making on top of a wedding film. Like it's really hard to do. Like you don't normally get to monetize your weddings after you like make them for a couple. So it's pretty, pretty stinking cool. Yes. I love it. I love it. Then they want you to enter in like the couple's contact info ideally. So that way if they do need to reach out to them like, hey, we want to feature your dress. It was really cool. You can do that here. It's great. Of course, like they won't do them without like permission and stuff like that. So they'll handle that well. And then you hit publish and then your video is published. It's pretty great. So it's highly recommend cool. Love Stories TV. It's really easy. Highly recommend starting to use it. It's really great. And it's going to help you out a ton. Cool. Okay. Um, yeah, sign up at the link down in the description, down below. Sign up for Music Bed 2 down there. Okay, great. Um, let's see here. No Solor no Solorzano says, I just had Love Stories TV reach out about using one of my videos. It's so cool. I never would have thought they would want to use one of my films. Well, they do. They did. They, they, they does. And now they paid him what? $10,000? Ten thousand dollars? Not quite that amount. Okay, I'm sorry. It's not gonna. It's not gonna be ten thousand dollars. But I can tell you that it is more money than you would be making otherwise, which is nothing. So <laughs> any and all income is is good income, I would say. Cool. Yes. Um, with that, David, do you need to tell people about this course that you have? Yes. Possibly. Yes, yes, I don't know yes. if you want to. You can. Oh well, I don't know. I, I guess I will because it's awesome uh, so right now I have this course the profitable filmmaker out it's a proven system to build a hundred thousand a year wedding business in any location market or economy now this is this is not fluff like this is literally the course that I wish I had when I started out and I've tested it for the last four or five years with real filmmakers because I don't want to give people a course that's not going to actually get them to a hundred thousand dollars like that would be pointless. And so it's so cool. Like this course actually is only open for enrollment for the next four days. And then I'm gonna close the signups down and I may not open it up for a whole nother year. So if you're interested at all in this course, it's specifically for wedding filmmakers, make sure you sign up today, tomorrow before the 30th or 31st, which is the very last day to sign up. And what's so cool is I've, when I launch this course, I always get students, current students, emailing me and saying, oh my gosh, I, like, I've been so busy running my business that I forgot to like, tell you my win. And just this week, a student, past student emailed me and said, David, I made $34,000 in one month from 
you know, doing what you taught me in this course. Another student was, I was charging $1,500 a wedding, took your course, and in less than a year, now I'm shooting 25 weddings a year at five to $7,000 just after using what you taught in this course. Other students said, hey, we, we cleared 100K, more than, like, way past 100K. We are at like 150, 170K, and before taking this course, we are at like 50K a year from weddings. And the whole thing with this course is I really wanted to give you guys a step-by-step -step system. So it's not like you log in and there's hundreds of videos and you're just like, I don't know where to go. I wanted it to feel as close to a one-on-one -on -one mentorship as possible. So actually when you sign up, I actually give you a workbook. It's a digital workbook that takes you through four certain sections. So the way I broke it down is I call it the EARN system and every letter of that EARN word is an acronym and the first one is like established. So in that first letter of E of the EARN system, we cover things like your mindset, your sales process, your branding, and then all the letters kind of cascade down and there's action items. So in that E, the first step, that's like a month and I have a whole downloadable checklist of what to work on and how you know that you're moving forward or not and how to like actually check yourself if you're going in the right direction. So you'll actually have a checklist of things to go through at the end of four or five months. If you do all the action items, you will have higher prices. You will be, if not past that 100K goal, very stinking close. And uh, like, I'm pretty convinced that within two weeks, you'll be able to raise your prices at the very least $500. At the very, like I would be shocked. I would be absolutely flabbergasted if you weren't able to raise your prices at least $500. God um, but I'm confident, confident that you'll be able to raise them thousands and thousands of dollars. So we cover sales, mindset, branding, workflow, SEO, Facebook ads, uh, profitability. I even have a module in there, how to become a millionaire as a wedding filmmaker. It is possible and it's way easier than you think. So actually, I will be on live chat. So if any of this sounds interesting, go to this page. There's so much more details. There's actually a six month one or, or uh, like a six month mentorship that I do with the group that is in this course. So there's so many details. Go onto the page, go to the bottom right hand corner, click chat if you have any questions. That's me on the other end, and I'm happy to help you guys. And I hope to see you inside The Profitable Filmmaker. Let's do it. David will be sitting right there in that room that he's sitting at right now. Just yeah, his I'll, computer. I'll just, literally be here just answering your questions. Just, hello. Yes, I can talk hello, right, right now. now. How are you? Done. <laughs> he's doing it. Don't, don't, ask, don't chat with him during this live stream, though, because he's distracted. Yeah, because right? I'm, 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 I'm a little busy. Give him a little bit. Give him a little bit. Um, Matt Latham comments and says, we're going through the course now. It's exactly what we need right now. So grateful to have it. Look at those positive. Yeah, man, let's do it. And then capture color says that was us. $37,000 in June this year. Okay. Whoa. I didn't know. Okay. Hey, what's up guys? Oh, yeah. Capture yeah, color. That's and awesome. And a new awesome. odyssey says you've sold it to me. We'll be subscribing today. Okay. Yeah, well, let's do it. A new Odyssey. The link Can't wait to see you inside. Let's do some more film reviews. Let's get it. If you uh, So use the link down in the description because that's my affiliate yes. link for David. So I get a cut if you sign up using my link. So please do that. Let's take definitely David's money from link. him and give it and to me. And definitely use his 10% discount. And there's a 10% off coupon as well. Matt J. Okay, cool. All right. Back to the wedding film live stream reviews. Tanner Castro. Oh my gosh, he's on VidFlow. We got to watch on VidFlow? Who uses VidFlow? What Apparently is VidFlow? <laughs> it's like I've never even to, heard of that before. It used to be called WedFlow, and then they changed the name to VidFlow. Oh, VidFlow. I'm yes. assuming we're watching the highlight film. No, no, no. He wants us to critique the speeches. What? Matt. The speeches? It's the speeches. No. The highlight film? <laughs> yeah. Okay, Rachel says the highlight film, How not the speeches. Know? Uh, we can probably go another like 45 minutes or so, I guess. Like we'll go, that'll be like two hours because David's going to need to pee in a little while. He hasn't peed in a long time. He's going to be in trouble, but that's okay. It's all right. I have a bucket. He's fine. He's fine. He's ready to do his chat. So he's always there. Hold on. I got to, I got to work on resizing this shindig. I should here. see if there's any chats just while we've been. You do that. You do talking. that while I do this. By all means, I am going to be grabbing there we go that's about the right size 
Yeah, guys, I'm going to chat for like two minutes during this live stream. So you can say hi, but then I will watch the film that we're watching. There it is. Let's but he'll be there for a second. I'll he'll be there be for there. a second. I'll be there for a second. Oh, I like this. Let's critique. I, don't, I can't tell if this baby is extremely happy or getting ready to lose his marbles. We'll find uh, out in a moment. Okay, so uh, Tanner Castro. If I go to your YouTube channel, can I see myself? You probably can. Just don't... Uh, Make sure it's muted, Wait. otherwise you're gonna have make we have really bad echoes. Um, uh, let's see here. So we've got he says he shot this with a Canon R6, two Canon R's, and a DJI Air 2. Mm. Air 2! Okay, cool. Well, let's let's uh, get it. let's watch this thing here by Tanner Castro. <laughs> we got snow! Children laughing. It's been wonderful to watch her grow and change. Um, she has tremendous faith. The snow that you see on the ground, she prayed it here. <laughs> she wanted it for the pictures in the game. <laughs> yeah, you're good. You can turn. Oh yeah, the breath. The steam. confused by the shot is she tilted she has her lifted but the trees are sideways are they laying down is are, they, this are they levitating am i did christopher nolan shoot this film i don't know what's happening in this shot it's very confusing <laughs> to me you know what i think is actually happening is that that light burst in the right corner is a ufo and they are getting abducted <laughs> this is it they're going into the spaceship yeah okay. they've already lost their legs those are actually there's nothing beneath the frame it's just Tanner, t Tanner, tell us what is happening. I don't know. Okay, we'll, <laughs> we'll see, but I'm very confused right and now. And I said, uh, okay. <laughs> um, we lived together in an apartment for the majority of the time that I lived in Missouri. Um, These and drone shots there, are nice. I just very had nice. so much fun getting to know this sweet sister of mine. Uh, we buy one straw. Okay, Tanner says they were next to a slope of snow. Hmm. I'm still confused how they're sideways, but I okay, Tanner. I believe you. It's kind in of. a it's in a slopement film. Mm, a slopement. <laughs> <It's> so, <laughs> bad. It's so bad. It's a dad joke. So bad. So bad. That was the sickest I've ever been in my entire life. There was one person I knew would come and would have the power flowing through him that I needed. And that was Levi. The video chats that we had with him. Uh, we were able to get to know him better and uh, have some good conversations and, uh, you know, mm. learn more about his growing up and stuff like that. And then realize, you know, the more we talked, the more we realized, yeah, they, Angela and him grow a lot alike. He said, you know, I only have three desires in life. And there's only three things that I really want. I'm still waiting for all of them. Some players there. Well, can an autofocus get lost? Two, Natural. to perfect his fallen nature. And three, and the presence of God. You find me another being in his 20s or any age for that matter who desires those three things. Um, this is the man you're marrying, Angela. You've got a great life ahead of you, and I think you'll be forever grateful for who you chose.
Texas thing. But no, apparently even, I assume this is in Utah, every wedding there's always at least one guy in camo. Just everybody else is in their suit and he's like, I got I got the outfit. Don't worry. I, I didn't even see him there. I got the memo. <laughs> he's just a floating <laughs> head. I didn't yeah. even, I didn't even Before know he you pointed there. it out, I was like, there's another person in this what? shot? I didn't even see him. He's so camouflaged. <laughs> what? <laughs> off together into the Just mountains. Just kidding. It's not over. The wedding of Levi, Angela. Sponsored by closed captioning. No animals were harmed in this <laughs> little, little credits there at the bottom. <laughs> no. little, little, little tiny. The more tiny of the font, the more cinematic it is. This mm-hmm. is very cinematic. It's basically, we should submit this to festivals. If I can't read carnivals. it, it's good. Um, okay, so like, I think this is probably like, I, I'm assuming this was your first wedding, maybe? Maybe not. You didn't say that, but you said it was with your best friend for your best friend to help you start your career. So, um, okay. I think in terms of like overall coverage, it's good, especially considering this, I believe is an LDS wedding. So you're not actually able to film the ceremony. So Mm -hmm. there's a big chunk of filmable material that we don't have access to. (laughs) Um, considering usually weddings are like, I don't know. I've always thought that was interesting. Cause it's like, you're hired to film this. Like usually the couple's like, we got to film the ceremony in here. It's like, we ain't <laughs> filming the, film ceremony. the wedding, but you can't film the wedding, but we got a reception. So hold on. We're going to make it good. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed the audio. I was hearing about them. I enjoyed, um, some of the shots you were getting. I think, uh, biggest thing for me was probably like the audio. We've had a lot of audio mm-hmm. issues this live stream, but like, this is like, I can tell you're not plugged into this microphone, and it sounds like it's on camera mic because it's just the quietest. Oh, they're, they're great people, we and you can them. hear like clanking glasses and laughing, so, and very distracting. Audio is big. Uh, biggest thing here: work on your audio. Watch my videos about audio. Let's improve that audio quality. And then, likewise, same shot here. Uh, this lighting. Let's let's get a light on this guy just a little bit, mm. you know, because we got a nice little backlight here. We got a little rim lighting on him. It's nice, but like, let's blast another light in over here. Nothing too crazy. Just get a little separation in from the background. Um, I think that'll help out a lot. So that'd be like the two biggest things I would focus on. And then I'm sure David's got some structural thoughts here because David usually goes off on that. <laughs> but love the drone shots. I actually, I actually, yeah, love the drone shots. And I really liked how you used the music at the end. You know, not of all the wedding films that we watched today, I thought you had the best use of music, especially at the end. Like you chose a song that wasn't the same at the beginning as it was at the end. I really loved that. And I loved how you kind of did some creative interpretation. Like this wedding day, probably at first pass, didn't feel, but you did it with the music and you cut in shots and it wasn't all slow motion. And you used that sound effect again. You did. Yeah. I'm available for hire. All right. This is it. I, I was thinking that, like, just like our idea for doing sound effects, like, we can do wedding sound effects too. I'm pretty sure Peter we could do music that. too. Just yeah, like, this is it. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, I love the use of music. I love that you cut to it. I love that it wasn't all slow motion. I loved, like, the close up smiling, like, this shot, loved it. Of him turning to the camera and smiling. Mm-hmm. We need more of those authentic moments in wedding films because. Goodness, so many wedding films are becoming so generic and it's just, we don't actually see people. And so I loved normal speed. I would probably cut it before her tiara fell because uh, that really confused me. Um, And then, (laughs) I'm just watching this over again. David's thinking, David's thinking, he's got thoughts. Matt's playing this. I will tell you the Tanner says, He's going into his third year. So I was wrong. Okay. It's not your first wedding film. Sorry. Um, but like, there was hey, a couple. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say for like third wedding film, third wedding year then, hey, like 
time to invest in some audio then for sure and time to invest more in lighting, I would say. And the bigger thing is now that I'm watching this over again, I didn't really notice on the first pass and this shows how much more important story is even to <laughs> shots. But uh, as Matt's kind of scrolling through this, I'm noticing a lot of white balance issues in the portraits when they're in the shade. Yep. They are dark and blue, like here. Yep. Um, that could have easily been fixed in color grading. Um, this was shot good. Like it, this looks just straight from camera. So I would have increased the mids, increased the gain, threw a LED on there, and this would have been saucy. Saucy. For saucy. Sure. It's actually properly exposed in camera. It just needs some color love. So yeah, Tanner, overall, I feel like your storytelling, like the storytelling and editing, we really like. It's like the technical stuff we got to work on here. And then it's just going to be even more, more, more better. More, more higher level, more good. It's going to be much, much better. -er. More better. -er. Yes, exactly. Um, okay. So, uh, you guys can guess pricing for this here, for what Tanner charged for this here. And I will give you a little hint here. It was free, <laughs> but, <laughs> but here's your guessing. Here's your guess. He was tipped. He received a tip. How much do you think? Tanner was tipped. Five hundred dollars. No, three hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. Oh, no, you're you're. It, it's in between those two. Come on now, you're getting close. Four fifty. Four fifty. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and um, isn't that sad, guys? That when we, if you do something for free and then you ask the couple to just give you what they think it's worth, it's never even close. <laughs> hey, I've been given Chipotle gift cards before. Okay, so <laughs> I, I was pretty. Hey, happy those about chips. That. You're going to be having the worst day, and money will not solve your problems, but chips will. Chipotle. Oh, so good. Um, let's see here. So Tanner says, any more brutal, honest feedback? <laughs> no, like Tanner, like we said, I feel like the storyline, I feel like you're doing good here. It's like, let's work on the, especially. This is actually in, a like, very like, good film, Tanner. Yes. Like, I'm very impressed. Like, let's work on, I, I'd be very interested to see, like, you improve your audio and visuals. And also, I'd be interested to see a wedding that had a ceremony. Because I feel like you could do even more than that, more with that. So would be interesting to see. Like, because like, especially for what you, what you working with, what you had, loved what you had, loved the angles, loved the variety with like taking them out into the snow, keeping them in, at the venue, all that really, really good. One thing I do want to say that as like a really cool thing is, can you go back to the beginning, the first look, Matt? Uh, I think Let's, it's like right yeah, when it yep, starts. Yep. yep, yep. Uh, uh, maybe around here or something like that. Let's see here. Yeah, uh, yeah, there, there, there. This is this yes. is kind of it. So Tanner, I like so many people would tell you, oh, let's let's make this technically better because on first pass it's like, oh, you only have one shot and it kind of lags. It could where oh, you're not really cutting between the bride walking up and then the groom's angle and then a third angle. I actually love it and I think you should lean more into this because. What I don't want to see happen is for you to get so technically perfect that it, you're like, oh, okay, this is how you film a first look. You do, you know, groom's reaction, the bride walking up, then a, a establishing shot of the whole thing. I love that it's just one shot and it breaks the mold of, mm -hmm. oh, the bride's just standing there and it's kind of weird, but it's kind of cool. And you hear the groom and then the groom just walks up. You don't cut the camera. I get a sense, and I don't know you, but I get a sense that you and your style is probably a little bit more this way, a little bit more not uh, showy. And so I want you to really lean into that not showy. And even though, like, even with the lighting of the speeches, I agree with Matt, you need to have a little bit more light on the speakers, but it doesn't need to look polish per se like this angle that you have where it's like in the crowd the technical right thing to do would be to set up a tripod on a zoom lens and get between you know chest level and head level with the light you know really bright on them that would be the technically right thing to do but it's not always the most interesting i agree we need him more lit but i kind of like this shot where we're in the crowd you don't see it often yeah because it's not technically correct keep shooting like this and just let's get the audio better, a little lighting better, but keep doing kind of these more uh, documentary style shots. I really like them. Yes. Love it. Okay. Brutal. So brutal. Wow. The most brutal. <laughs> um, Landon Johnson keeps asking, how do I submit a video? Link is in the description. 
Uh, Forever Wet Films Wedding says, my first will wedding film was free and I was tipped $2,000. So, <laughs> well, I'm sorry we don't have rich friends forever. Day. I love that. Wouldn't that be nice? Like, hey, you don't have to pay me. By the way, uh, yes, do 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 pay me $2,000. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Tanner says, sweet, better audio, lighting, go back and forth, white balance, fix issues. Uh, thank you for your kind words. And yes, I love not showy and not as polished. Thank you both. Cool. Perfect. And then I got to pull up the next wedding film here, David. But somebody asked in the chat. Let me scroll back and find it. Where was it? Hey, hey, Casey Ray says, what's the hey, difference Casey. between profitable filmmaker and craft 5K, which is Ooh. David's other course. So <laughs> question. educate the people. I while will I pull educate the thing people. From Tennyson Stanley. Mm. Pull him up. Tennyson. Okay, so I have two courses. One is craft 5K wedding films. That one is not open currently. And that course is how to shoot and edit weddings. So I get, I bring you behind the scenes on a real wedding, real elopement. I bring you actually into my editing studio and we work with storyline and color and audio and it's all the technical aspects of how to shoot and edit weddings. It doesn't cover anything in terms of the business side of wedding filmmaking. And that was what was missing substantially in the course because I know so many filmmakers, some of my most, my favorite wedding filmmakers, their films are absolutely mind-blowingly good. Technically, story-wise, I've never seen another film like it, but they're charging $2,000. <laughs> and I'm just like, what is wrong with the world? And so that's why I came up with The Profitable Filmmaker, is how to actually make this a career, make this a business. So The Profitable Filmmaker covers all the business side of things. How do you the do business. sales? in a way that's not pushy, in a way that's not awkward, in a way that's authentic. How do you do SEO? How do you Facebook ads? How do you do branding? How do you have a website that when a bride goes to it, they feel like they have to have you? Like, how do you go to a website? How do you make your website so good that a bride who's looking at 60 other wedding filmmakers immediately stops and says, I'm gonna stop looking and contact them until I, until I book them? Like, I teach you how to do that. And that is extremely powerful. And what's so cool is, I would argue, the business side is even more important, 100 times more important than the artistic side to have as a foundation because your work, like we could be doing these live streams and you could be charging $1,500 a wedding film and be like, man, I have a lot to learn technically. Like, um, who do we just watch, Matt? Uh, uh, we just that. watched, hold on, I lost it here. Tanner, Tanner Castro. Tanner, Tanner, Tanner. yeah. So Tanner, third wedding film, you could be like, oh, I need to improve, I need to improve all these things which we just talked about. You could go through the course and I could, with the level of work you're at now, I can teach you how to get to $5,000 for a wedding film in like, <laughs> in a couple bookings. That's how powerful this business stuff is that regardless of where you're at technically, you can charge triple, quadruple what you're charging through what I do. So um, yeah, it's all business side and Craft 5K is all shooting side. So they both kind of stand alone. And if you have both, they work together. Casey says, I'm gonna need yeah. a bundle of those courses, LOL. So there you <laughs> yes. go. Um, my understanding is that Craft 5K teaches you to make $5,000 wedding films. And then the Profitable Filmmaker shows you how to film 20 of those. So that way you're making six figures. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they work together. They're they work together. symbiotic. Okay. Uh, Tanner says he's looking at the course now, David. We'll use the link in the description. Cool. Yeah. Uh, use yeah. Matt's it's link. Down, use Matt's down, link. It's down there if you want to do it. Okay, cool. Tennyson. Oh, my goodness. It's time, Tennyson. Okay, Tennyson is in the chat, and he says, I've hit a wall with weddings, so give it to me straight. <laughs> Everyone wants us to be, like, mean. Everyone like, wants, them, wants us to slap them. Come on. Slap me in the face. Um, he says, seeking to improve and learn, filmed on a Canon R6 with a variety of lenses. Well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> it's, it's like an airhead mystery flavor. That would be Who a knows? fun challenge. Who knows? You show up to a wedding and you just have to like close your eyes and pick out a lens and you have to shoot with that the whole day. Good luck with the fish eye. Have a good time. Okay, uh, <laughs> here we got uh, Hannah and Kyle's wedding by Tennyson Stanley here. Look at this. They're in the... Hannah Banana. Ooh. Before I met you, I thought Ooh, I, ever, I had everything figured out. Not me, right? 
I thought that I was on the path. Couples alone in a forest. David's already like, yeah, my kind of wedding film. This is great. Look at this. It's beautiful. I'm not crying. You're crying. <laughs> that I wanted to be. And nothing was going to change that. Most of all, I thought I would never find true love or find my soulmate. But that all changed the night I met you. Mm. Cinematic font. So tiny. I have a really bad audio delay, so I'm just going to imagine this. Jars, jugs. <laughs> I never thought that from just one look or a bet to one drink to one kiss that I would instantly know that I was going to marry that one person someday. In a corny kind of way, the old me left your house that night in the first Uber, and a new and better me returned in the same Uber as someone who is going to marry the most beautiful, sassy, stubborn, and passionate person to ever walk this planet. I would create memories with that person that would last a lifetime. I would start the most beautiful family with that person. And most importantly, that I would grow old and spend every breath of me with that person. Well-written little letter there. Nice work. Mm, that was good vows. Vows or letter? I don't know what it was. Kyle. My love. Yeah. The day you entered my life, everything changed. That was the most bocalicious tie I've ever seen. Like, that's just, <laughs> mm, look at that. Look at that beautiful tie right there. Mm. It's beautiful. The day you entered my life, everything changed. That terracotta color. I knew there was something mm. special about you the moment I met you. I don't know whether it was the way you looked at me or the way you made me laugh, but something stole my heart. And of all the people you've met on your journey and all the places you've been, somehow, in some way, you ended up here with me. That is the single most powerful and humbling fact that I can accept. I used to think we met by chance, just a drunk guy at the bar trying to hit on me. But now I know without a shred of doubt that you and I were fate, meant to spend the rest of our lives together. <clears throat> Ooh, the ring holder, that's cool. I've watched you grow up to be a strong, beautiful young woman that any father would be proud of. Oh, that's a cool car. I love you very much, and I know you're going to be a great wife to Kyle. Walking you down the aisle, Hannah. Watching and witnessing you, Kyle and Hannah. Say your vows to each other and become husband and wife. That's a mountaintop moment for me. And I know it's a mountaintop moment for you. And they're getting married on a mountaintop. I promise to spend the rest of my days loving you the way you love me. I promise to be your lover, to love you when you think no one else could, when even you don't think you can love yourself. But above all other things, I promise to choose you. I love you, Kyle. Kyle and Hannah are wonderful people. And I've seen them over the past few years grow together. I am truly a believer that Two people are brought together for reasons. I truly believe that things don't just happen. I believe that the fact that these, these two found each other. Scrooge got a good beard over here too. I just want to point that out. Very solid, very appreciative. Yeah, Matt will never let a good beard go. Had some inspiration Whoa, from heaven. Kyle. Oh, you take me on the right, Scott. Got that ashy beard. Lawfully wedded one. I Hannah, do you take Kile to be your lawfully Kile? wedded husband? Kile. <laughs> By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. Hostel. You may now kiss the bride. I saw some tongue there. <laughs> oh, oh. Kyle, you make me feel happier than I ever could have imagined and more loved than I ever thought possible. You're my best friend, my biggest supporter. I cannot wait for this journey of ours. It's going to be the best damn thing. So let's do this.
Everybody, please rise. Mr. and Mrs. Kyle Hosta. Most importantly, I vow to never stop loving you. Today is and will be the best day of my life. I love you with every part of me. You truly make me the happiest person. Nice. Mm -hmm. Really nice edit. Um, great shooting, great colors. Like, really, like, technical. Great audio. Oh, fantastic. Audio has just loved it. Best audio we've heard all day. And there's been some rough audio. Yes, this is, sir. I was like, oh, thank God, right at the stomach. Oh, he's clean. Okay, good. Yes, thank I God. I can hear him. It's good. And then, like, the dad Great color. In, dad speech where he was coming in here. I'm like, oh, yeah. He's, like, he's, he's, he's holding the mic right also. It was, it was just great. I mean, he's, he's got it right there. Like, hello, everyone. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yes, thank you. Hold the mic right. Sounds thank good. You. Thank like, you, Father. Mm, so, so good. All, like, for me... And David, you can tell me your thoughts on this here and all, but like I, I feel like my only issue was it took to like five minutes before the song really hit. It was fine like here whenever we get to like higher energy stuff. And it was just really slow at the beginning and throughout. And mm. I was like, man, if there was like one other moment at the beginning, maybe it's like a 30 second moment at the start where it's like higher energy or it's like the first, maybe it's a different song in the first minute or two where it's higher energy, then we go down slower. Cause it just, it took a while, and I'm like, "Come on, give me, give me the high energy. I want to see them accelerate. It's so close." But like, once we got there, it was great. It just took a while. So, yeah. Yeah, I felt like there's a. I felt like you hit really hard the romantic side of this couple. I really got that his vows or the letter at the beginning. Loved how you just let it sit. It was actually a really good letter, really good strong opener. Loved uh, the speech moments that you chose to include, but I felt like where it kind of fell off the rails for me was showing more of their energetic party side. I felt like you tried to show their energetic party side through the same song and vibe as kind of the romantic side, whereas I felt like we didn't fully see who they were as a couple. I would have liked a totally different song, even a strict 180 would have been kind of nice because they looked kind of like party animals and I didn't really feel that. Like it was kind of like slow motion of them partying and I was just like, oh, I, I felt a disconnect where we didn't fully lean into who these people were um, as people. And it's kind of hard because you said you hit a wall. It's always hard to like get people past a wall. Um, usually when people hit that, what ends up happening is who they are as people isn't fully coming across in their wedding films. I'd say this is another case of branding where the song is pretty generic the shots are pretty generic um, it's a pretty generic woodsy wedding i love that you showed the couple's personality that's really good but there's nothing that really stands out as being whoa this that was a really amazing shot or a really amazing intro so yeah i think you just need to take more risks you need to be more creative and you kind of know where you're holding back better than me and Matt do just off of one film. But if I was personally 
like mentoring you, what I'd want to see is your personal Instagram. I'd want to know more about what do you actually enjoy in life? Is this the type of wedding that you like shooting? Do you like more romantic? Do you like more party? Kind of tell me more about you and your tastes. And I would lean into more what you enjoy doing and show it more specifically because it's still, yeah, I mean, this is a typical music bed song. And I think that's also holding you back pretty strong is I would lean into more unique songs musically and see where that takes you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to find Tennyson Stanley's Instagram page. There we go. I found it. Let's see here. Let's see. What do we got here? We got, we got Tennyson. He's got, got a, is that a, is that a glide cam? It's a glide cam. Wow. I haven't seen glide cam so long. Classic. Idaho wedding videographer. And so we've got there's there's that wedding that we just watched. Okay. We got other couples, other stuff here. Can you just get the on camera monitor? Yeah, okay. Damn, I don't there's nothing there's no there's no Tennyson. There's a nice flower here. But there's no there's no like Tennyson's here. He's here in the thumbnail. That's what you got, David. Tennyson. Okay, well, yeah, what I'll say is just my immediate reaction is just like what I told um, one of the first wedding filmmakers we were watching their film is all of this is way too basic. Um, it's <laughs> all Carlos typical in the chat just said. He said, David basically said it's basic. <laughs> and you're like, it's and, and basic. That's, and like, you could charge 5000 for that film. You should be charging five, six, seven thousand 7000 for. Like that is an easy, I, I know I could... If you gave me that film, I know I could get on the phone with a couple tomorrow and sell them on that for $7,000. Like, it's that good. But your problem wasn't with the quality of the film. Your problem was you said, oh, I feel like I'm hitting a ceiling. So if you feel like you're hitting a creative ceiling, the solution to that is you need to be more unique. It is too much of a basic wedding. But if you feel like you're hitting a pricing ceiling and a business ceiling, there's nothing about this film that's keeping you from charging $7,000. Like this is a seven thousand dollar film. It's something with your workflow and sales process that's hitting that wall. Yep. Um, so yeah, two quick thoughts there. Okay. The, well, this will provide some more context here. I'll tell you that Tennyson charged fifteen hundred dollars for this wedding <laughs> film. So yeah, let's quadruple, quintuple that yeah. <laughs> amount, as David's saying. Like, like, dude, yeah. Tennyson. Like, this is really good quality. Like, I'm shocked. That you're like, yeah, it's fifteen hundred. I'm like, dude, this is fantastic work. Like, normally for wedding films, I'm seeing fifteen hundred. It's like, okay, it's got some technical issues here. Let's fix some things here. We can improve it. I'm like, like just you shooting this well alone is like five grand. And then let's let's work on some other stuff, and it's gonna keep going. <laughs> dude, Tennyson, I this might come across weird, but like take it as it. Just take my course. I know I'm kind of like biased, but dude, take it. Spend one week through it. And just bump your prices up to five thousand. Like, do what I'm telling you to do, and like, you don't have to change anything. You should be at five thousand dollars. <laughs> it's a business cap, and then Carlos Fishburn says, "I wouldn't pay seven k for that work, bro." <laughs> Which, All right. Well, I, I would argue that. Are you getting married, Carlos? I don't know. Are you get like, yeah. I, like I like I and I say this is somebody that like charges. There are weddings I've charged 10K plus for, and I'm like, I wouldn't pay 10K for a wedding film, but I'm not my client. You know, like, I don't have that kind of money. I, I know for a fact, 100% couples will pay five to $7,000 for this level of film because I have seen couples pay five to $7,000 for a film that is 50% worse than this. <laughs> that's, so. that's a valid point for sure. Cool. All right. Uh, Carlos says, no hard feelings. Forever Film says, Carlos, wrong. It's clean. Carlos says, I'll pay Matt, though. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you Carlos. Love you. You're great. Okay. Uh, Y'all are all great here. Um, I'm pulling up the next film here. Thank you very, very much. Tennyson. Very enjoyable to watch. Tennyson. Um, last wedding film here. While I'm pulling it up here... Um, you can talk to Landon, David. Landon says, where I live slash surrounding area, it's hard to find couples who will spend that amount. Yeah, it, where are you, Landon? 
Where are you? Are you? Where are you? Are you in Middle Earth? Are you with the orcs yeah. and the hobbits? Well, because I gotta get this whenever out. someone tells me that, I immediately can think of, you know, three people who are charging that in their area. So it's, there are certain areas where it is harder, but here's the thing. Money doesn't have an area. Okay, people, the way money works is people will pay for things they find valuable. So you could have someone, let's give an example. Say I have no money in my bank account. I literally have no money, okay? So I could, if someone tries to sell me something, they're like, oh, this is gonna be five grand. I could say, I don't have five grand, and that's true. But what are they trying to sell me? Okay, what if I was, you know, wandering in the Sahara Desert and I hadn't drank water for three days? and they were giving me water, and they're like, it's $5,000. I would find a way to get $5,000, if at all, like I would, I would do anything to get $5,000, because I need that thing so much. Or, on the flip side, if I had cancer, and someone was selling me the cure, I would get a second job, I would ask family, I would find that money. So money is never the issue for causing people not to buy something. So it's kind of an excuse that we make, oh, it's my market, it's my area, people aren't paying it. What the real problem is, is we haven't figured out as filmmakers how to properly sell ourselves so that people, they'll find a way. And so a good example of this is I was talking to uh, a groom who, he came on the phone call, I said, bro, my budget is a thousand dollars i can't spend anymore that's my cap i've already you know we've exhausted our budget i have no more money and i was like okay well i thought about not doing the call not walking through prices with him but i walked through the whole thing and i found out what his actual problem was was that he um in talking with him i found out that he wanted a wedding film that actually he was a Christian, he was a pastor, he wanted a wedding film that glorified God, he wanted something way more nostalgic and something that where they could watch it 30 years from their wedding day and actually see God's faithfulness woven through their story, woven through how the speeches were kind of, you know, sparsed out through the film. And I was like, oh man, I'm a Christian as well and that's really important to me. And we started talking about, whoa, that's a big pain point for him. And all of a sudden he realized, this isn't just you capturing my film, this is or my wedding, of uh, kind of giving me pretty pictures with music underneath. This is something way more that I didn't even realize. And literally two days after the call, he came back, booked my highest package, which at the time was like $4,500, $5,000. And he didn't have the money, but he asked parents, he asked friends because he realized the value was so much there and where he didn't realize and he came up with the money. So that's the mindset shift we have to have as wedding filmmakers. It's not the market. It's not people don't have enough money. It's just how we're presenting our films. People will find the money. I guarantee it. Landon says he's in Tennessee. He says, I can charge that amount, but I wouldn't be able to book many at all. And then he's like, I would love to be reviewed. So y'all give me advice. And, um, but yeah, so he says he's in Tennessee. So I know people in Tennessee charging ten thousand dollars so mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah uh it's not i know i know a lot of higher end videographers in tennessee too so something to keep in mind there um okay we got to keep moving i'm sorry y'all we have to keep moving rachel's chosen people here we go um so this is lumalux productions and they say i was approached by the venue owner about this bride and groom the bride was diagnosed with stage four cancer and they decided to get married very quickly Planned the wedding in just eight days. I found out about it one week before it was happening and waived my fee. Most of the vendors did it did to make this wedding happen for the couple. Such an amazing, powerful love story. Feel so honored to be a part of it. So in it, the bride talks about her greatest difficult challenge in her vows, and that refers to her cancer diagnosis. Okay. Mm. All right. Wow, well, this is gonna be a heavy one. Be... It looks pretty already. Yeah. Okay. This is gonna be interesting. From this little thumbnail that we're seeing here, the little still. Let's let's watch Brooke this thing. Brooke and here. Tanner. That light. Oh, Today marks the beginning of a new stage in your lives together. A journey that brings adventures, challenges, and moments of courage. I can give you advice I'm very confident in. And that's do one thing. Love each other unconditionally, day in and day out. Because love is powerful. Love does things that nobody could ever imagine. And love always wins.
intro. Wow. The little tilt shield shift effect here mm. on the drone Ooh, shot. That's cool. That's nice. Yeah, it's very like, nice. It's like you have a Super 8 camera up there. Just, just tape to the drone. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Super 8 drone footage. I don't know. I only got a minute of this. Here we go. Brooke Levon. In August of 2014. Really crispy audio. Thank you. Thank you. I knew I was in love with you. Even though we just met. I had this feeling in my gut that I knew you were very special. Obviously there has to be an origination story at, at a wedding. When did they meet? How did it happen? Tanner alluded to it earlier and uh, he said August. What happens in August? Watershed. <laughs> After the first, I think it was the first night there we were there, maybe the second, we wake up the next day and, and uh, Tanner's like, dude, I met this chick last night and I think, I think you know her. And he's like, dude, she's already my phone background. Wow. Wow, well, it's intense. Tanner. I like the overlay. My treasure, my Tarzan, my soulmate. My best friend. My Tarzan. Person. <laughs> Before I met you, there was always the dream and fantasy of the kind. I've never heard a bride call her groomer Tarzan. I like that. <laughs> we more Tarzan. I really hope he like this. rips off. He's like, bruh. <laughs> comes into the reception. <laughs> yeah. I'm hoping. I'm like, hoping how did they meet? I have so many questions. <laughs> then you danced into my life, and everything changed. Because of you, I smile and laugh every day and more than I ever have. So many years ago, oh, yes. this guy Handlebar comes mustache. up to me in a trailer at a dirt bike track, comes as high and he ends up being the best friend I've ever had. We would do something really fucking dumb, but we're kind of smart, so it wasn't that bad. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, this, this handlebar mustache. <laughs> not, a, not a beard, but still great. Still great. Yeah. Engineer. Pretty smart decision. Smart guy. He got the most beautiful girl in the world. And... <laughs> for the first time at the hospital. I remember how small she was and our dad holding my hand as I looked at her. I didn't know at the time that you were born to be my best friend, but that became apparent as the years passed. I love being your big sister. Sometimes I wonder how I got so lucky to be gifted such an incredible person with the brightest light. And then you met Tanner, your equivalent your tree man, and together you could your tower tree man? a what is thousand up with this Tarzan thing? Tarzan tree man. I need to know. He doesn't look like a Tarzan. I'm so confused. Yeah, I'm so, I, this I, shot is I awesome. I need an explanation. Dude, all, yeah. the, all your church shots with the sun coming in, mm, ah, ah, it's so good. Mm, it's all God. You are the mold of a man I never knew was possible or could even have the opportunity to love. We have been through obstacles, but our love has always been strong and effortless. Now life has brought us our greatest difficult challenge. And now more than ever, life is trying to pin us against all the odds. But I believe our love will and can overcome anything. Love is said to free us from the weight and pain in life, Wouldn't and I truly believe that. Tanner, it was in the stars for you to fall for Brooke, as I could not imagine a better person to adventure with her. And a more gentle and patient and caring man to walk beside her through this journey. I 
touch you yet. You're not touching me yet. You look amazing. So do you. Each day with you has been memorable. Each adventure with you has been unforgettable. Man, this ceremony set up just next level. Each dance with you has been enchanting. Oh, and each kiss shot. with you is electric. <laughs> sparks, baby, sparks. When you walk in the room, the weight of my world falls away. You are my comfort, my protector. And there is no one else I could do this journey with. I couldn't fathom spending my life without you. I'm so terribly in love with you. And I forever will be. universe has only made one of you and there will never be another light that shines as bright as you in my eyes. Your soul and our love is my greatest treasure and I promise to value it always eternally. Yeah, very, very nice. Like the book ending there. Fantastic work. And then the ceremony is psychic. Mm. Yeah, very, very enjoyable. Very, very well done. Like, oh man, I saw, uh, who was it? Uh, Forever, Forever Wedding Films. Forever Films Weddings was like, this is every bride's dream film. Like, it, it was really good. Like, I was, uh, yeah. I, I did not cry. I was watching it. I was, uh, for ever, so I was like, are you crying? No, I wasn't crying. But I, I will tell you that I did get, like, really strong. I got some good goosebumps when, where was it? Like, here about when they're building up to his. Spark. When it's the, the slow-mo of, oh, where was it? I lost it. it. You know what I'm talking about. She's walking up to him, and then the music hit, and I was like, dang, this is so good. Yeah, whoa. Uh, yeah, this, this moment, oh, my gosh. So, so fantastic. Love the audio mixing throughout. Just so, so good. Um, yeah, the only, like, I would say, uh, I saw that Rachel commented in the chat, like, I wish it wasn't all one song. And I agree, like, it's mm. like eight minutes. It's a long thing for it to be just like one song. Hit. The first hit and the last hit, the exact same hit. Yeah, like, the first and last hit are then the same. And so maybe, like, if it was a different initial song, and because the, the ending, like, the whole ending's great. Like, let's not mess with the ending. But, like, that first half, maybe it's a different song that has a different vibe, and that way just the vibe feels a little different throughout. Great, great work, though, overall. So good. Yeah, I think uh, same thing. I mean, incredible film. The story is kind of one where you almost can't mess it up. It's so good. They had amazing vows, just killer ceremony set up, amazing light, just everything looks so beautiful. So amazing job on that. I think, yeah, multiple songs. I would have liked, it would have been stronger if it was two minutes shorter. Uh, I know you try to put a lot in there, but I would challenge it to be a couple minutes shorter. I think it could have hit harder. And, like, I felt like the filmmaking choked the story a little bit. And let me explain what I mean by that is their story was so strong and, like, the whole cancer thing and their vows. And I, I felt like the editing, the music, the shots, the fades, it kind of sucked the human aspect out of it. And it felt too much like a big production. And I never really got to sit. Like, 
I don't think it's an accident that Matt or I didn't get to that full kind of gut wrenching tear level. Mm. I think it was here. Mm. Um, but I think what kind of impeded it was right as it was about to get there, the song would come in really big or there'd be like this slow motion thing where you're like, oh yeah, I'm watching a movie. I'm not actually in here. So what I would love to see is a little bit more of moments where like that first look looks so emotional, but it was kind of covered by music and just their faces. I would have liked to strip the music and just let him sit and cry and let her be like, oh my God, like what? just let it happen rather than cut, 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 cut. Just like kind of let us be. And so that was probably my biggest critique that I think could have just really brought it home. But I mean, again, nitpicking, this is an incredible film. Really, really well done. Yeah, and for you to like get this all done in like eight days and like be like, hey, yeah, like uh, here, we'll like, I'll film this thing in eight days. Let me learn your story. Let me figure all this stuff out. And like to be able to pull all that together, I think it's really, really good. I do think contextually, like for me as somebody that's not somebody that knew what was going into this film beforehand, if I hadn't read what you'd written that like uh, that she had this cancer diagnosis and all, like I mm. feel like, I wouldn't have felt the weight as much. I'm like, oh yeah, this is a really good film. But like, dang, he's yeah, really emotional yeah. for like for this. So like knowing that happened ahead of time, like that added to it. But I almost, uh, you you have her in the description, like Brooke had been diagnosed with cancer and all life plans came to a screeching halt. I feel like for the couple, they're going to love this because of course they already know everything going on. But like for the outside audience that doesn't, if they don't read that description, they don't know that. And so, like, some of the emotional weight is lost. And I would almost say, like, is there some way that you could convey that in a tasteful and powerful and meaningful way in the wedding film itself? That, like, this is the weight of what they're going through. This is the weight of, like, their relationship mm -hmm. and why it's led to this moment. And maybe that's in, like, an interview with them. Maybe that's in, like, letters that they've written that are talking about it. Like, you might have to, like push in that direction and also like see if they're even okay with that. And that's how they want things to be remembered. Cause they may not. And so I wouldn't push it then, but like if you could provide that context, that might help enhance things even more. Cause I think that might add to what, what was a little bit missing in terms of the overproduces. Mm -hmm. I feel like that might've provided yeah. a little more grounding and realness to it where it's like, Oh dang, yeah. okay, this is really heavy. Yeah. And even doing something simple, like it's not the best, but it, I think it would work just as strong of, just having it fade in at the beginning of a text thing of, yeah. hey, this is the uh, foundation of this film. And it's pretty tasteful because it's a heavy thing. So it might actually, unless you have them saying it in the actual vows or letters or interview, just literally having a text fade in of the description you have in YouTube to start the film, I think would just immediately make it better. It's, it's a little context there. It's all about the context, you know? And so, like, because we knew that going in, we're like, oh, dang, this is really heavy. But, like, if we don't know it, then it's not as heavy. So something yeah. to keep in mind. Um, but otherwise, overall, capturing it all, fantastic work. Um, I'll tell you, of course, this was, like, donated for free, which that's fantastic. Thank you. That's so good. Um, the, uh, he says, they did tip me, but uh, normally for this type of video, I'd charge 3000 minimum. Dude, like if you're making videos that look this good and like with this music quality and like this emotion already hitting, even though like all just like what we just said, 3K, really? Come on. Yeah. Like this Needs is to be like five. Needs fantastic. Needs to be five. At least. At least. Minimum five. Minimum. Okay. Like so good. Okay. Cool. So, you know. All right. Great work. Great work. Um... Lumilux says, like, create a second video for everyone else. Yeah, you can totally do that. Like, there's no rule saying that the film that you give the couple is the film you have to put on your website. I do that all. I've done that. I don't do that all the time. I do it often. Every wedding, the, the couple, couple is never every wedding, the, same <laughs> the couple gets an all black and white film and color is for <laughs> everyone else. No, if the couple's like, hey, I really want to see this guest or that guest or have this speech in instead of me trying to like fight them creatively, if it's easy for me, I'll put it in and then the cut I edited, I'll release to the public. I do it all the time. Yeah, it's called a director's cut. They do that in Hollywood all the mm -hmm. time. You see those director's cut movies. It's what the director wanted. So that's something to, to keep in mind here and all. 
Um, okay, guys, this is this is we have come to the end of the live stream today. Thank you, Luma Lux. That was a lot of fun to watch. Um, yeah, it was awesome. We had oh gosh, how many submissions did we end up with? We ended up with forty one <laughs> submissions. We got through. What we could. I'm sorry. <laughs> We got through six, okay? I'm sorry, me and David are not the fastest. <laughs> then you combine that with just us being talkers. This is it, okay? But it was good, I hope, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry, Landon, I know you were asking. I'm sorry we didn't get to you. We'd love to review one of your films next time. Uh, um, I don't think we convinced Carlos that they that he could charge what he said. He said he charges between 2 and 6K in California, which that's a really big range, and he's saying he only charges 2K for a ceremony, but, like, dude, it's California, like people pay six k in California. They gotta they gotta pay for yes. gas to get to the wedding. That's six k right there. My goodness. Six um, k in California is like three k in Tennessee. So uh, for Carlos, like, or for for context, sorry for context, Carlos. David does live in California as well, so I think that he can speak to to California yeah. a little bit. Yeah, he, yeah. Like this bit. level of wedding in California. With the right branding, right sales process, everything like that, easy, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, a couple would be willing to pay for this. And that's why I say at minimum, five. Like at minimum, uh, a five. Of course, in California, you do have competition because there's a lot yeah, of filmmakers sure. in California compared to, like if you were doing this in Tennessee, there is an argument to be made that it might even be easier to charge 5,000 because there's less filmmakers doing this quality of work. In California, of course, everyone is a filmmaker. We have USC here, we have UCLA, we have Biola, we have APU where, hey, I'm not making it as a filmmaker, I'm gonna be a wedding filmmaker. And that's very, very typical. With my so red you have camera, all the... here we go. Exactly. So that's why you might be noticing a little bit of struggle, but I can tell you the people that are actually like wedding filmmakers and doing a really like heartfelt film like this is very few. And you could easily do five, six, seven, guaranteed, you know, with the right sales process, with the right branding <clears throat> and uh, workflow and stuff like that. So, yes. Well, got All something right. in my eyes. Which See, is David's me cry. dying. Now. I just get so, so to, emotional. We have to end the live stream because David's dying. So, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you guys. Um, Thank you for watching, commenting, hanging out with us. A lot of fun. Um, Landon's asking, when's the next live stream? I do these monthly. I do not have a set date ahead of time. I usually don't find it until like a week to a few days beforehand when I can do it because we got to line up babysitting and everything like that. Because can you imagine a three-year-old running around <laughs> while like, this is well, happening? I'm crying like, right now. Like, the li you think this is a bad life? You think we were slow we got through six? I'd get through like two if that child was here. So believe me. Um we got to kind of line things up whenever we do these live streams. But uh, I can tell you that it'll probably be second half of March. Or not, sorry, we are in March. What am I saying? Second half of April? Another live stream coming your way at some point. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, I will leave it up so you can watch it later if you want to go back and check out anything. Um, and, yeah, if you want to check out Music Bed, there's a link over there. Coupon Link in the description and a coupon code. Matt Johnson Live, give you one month free. So use that, sign up, save some money, get some amazing music. So much of the song. That last song that we just watched in uh, the amazing wedding film we just watched. Um, yeah, that was this this song here, ha this video here. Music Bed Song by Chapters, C-H-P-T-R-S. They're fantastic. Ooh, love them. Chapters. Sign up for Love Stories TV. They're absolutely Damn. wonderful, and they're so great. And... They're just wonderful. And hey, it's another way for you to find more business. So highly recommend signing up for Love Stories TV as well. And by all means, check out David's course. You only got three days, 11 hours, 42 minutes, and six seconds <laughs> to sign up before he closes Go! the doors on this thing because... And I'll be on live chat. Yeah, and he'll be on live chat if you want to talk to him because he's literally like, he's going to be doing like six months group coaching with this crop of students. That's why he's closing this thing. So you can spend yep, time yep. with him. Link in the description. Coupon code MattJ will save you 10%. And yeah. Highly recommend doing that. Cool? All right. Cool. With that, you guys are great. Um, all 54 of you. 52 now, hanging out, still watching. Hey. Cool. All right. Um, yeah. See you all later then. Have a good day. See you guys. Yeah. Where's the ending? There it is. Cool. Bye. <laughs> Bye.